merch. This clip is brought to you by BattleOnline.com. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, what's good, man? Reginelli, we know you got the new project working. Rap Genius coming. Drop the no Life After No Limit Deluxe. So, yeah, I got. Yeah, uh, I'm dropping. Uh, I'm gonna drop that Rap Genius on Christmas Day. That's gonna be the present. Me. You know what I'm saying. And um. Uh, I'm about to drop a single right now that uh that song that me Fino and Magnolia Sam had did um full time job you know what I'm saying R I P to Fino now I'm about to drop that um like this week that's an out the blue single I'm about to drop okay that's definitely a dope one man and rest in peace Fino all. Uh... Yeah. Sam, you guys, everybody done their thing on that, you know, definitely. It's like a full-time job. Not to, like the kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I, was, when I was pulling up, I was just bumping. Yeah, yeah, that, you know, that one of my go-tos from, um, from like, the newer, I guess what you say, the newer catalog, which I guess is a good question to kind of go forward because, you know, you've managed to maintain a recording career for a long period of time. And, um, you know, a lot of people know you originally from the No Limit ever going back so um you know even being able to keep continuing forward it definitely shows and proves um you know i guess your lyrical abilities and your musical abilities and stuff one thing when people talk about no limit they say you know there was a huge raster sometimes it was hard to pick out some of the artists and who was going to have like i guess longevity and stuff when you was around and you was recording we know it was a bit of a competitive environment and atmosphere but um uh, you know, amongst yourselves, was there any ever any talks of like, you know, who's the best, who hasn't improved the most, who's getting better, you know, that sort of thing on a rap level? Nah, they never, we never had no, um, when nobody was, I mean, but it, it definitely was, you know, um, when a lot of people was on songs together, we, you know, we was trying to go harder than the other person, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, you had people like um, Mystical, Mac, you know, them dudes like Fiend and them, you know, you know one thing, Mia, you know, they, when they on you, you know, they on a song you getting on, you know, you gotta, you gotta come with it. And I, I, I won't clear, cause I seen it in the comments on um, the interview that I did with a uh, gangster, that, you know, a lot of people, you know, they figure like No Limit that was in the 90s, and they, I guess they look at the artists like, they old now, but I got to remind a lot of people, I was 15 years old when I was with No Limit around that time, so I'm I'm far from old, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, yeah, you know, they need to do their research or something on me, you know what I'm saying? Because ain't nothing, I got out rap anybody. That's why I named my album the Rap Gene. I mean, all my music, you can listen to my music back to back without skipping a song, I promise. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting better yeah. and better. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, it definitely was on, um, it was on um, competition, but it wasn't no like, uh, like, oh, I'm about to, oh, you know, I'm about to smoke you on this. No, it was never nothing like that. We just, we just showed it, um, when we do our verses. Okay, no doubt. You know, so um, you definitely um, who was I guess some of your favorites to do collaborations or verses with or feature with? Like so was the Slim, um, Mac, um, Mia, um, who else? Um, C, of course. You know what I'm saying? Uh. Free C murder, man. You know, uh, I can't wait till that dude come on. Um, that's really the main one. And Melaka, you know, man, Melaka, we we always make good music. Man, I'm guy working on something too. Another Gambino, um, family, deluxe album. So I'm, we, 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 I'm gonna drop that one. Man, I'm gonna work on. We working on that now. So I'm working on a lot of couple of projects, even with uh like other artists. Okay, yeah, that's dope, man. So I mean, you know, production. 
I know you got like your own kind of um production team around you and stuff that correct. Yeah. Yeah. Matter of fact, um my guy from from the UK, he just sent me like he emailed me like, man, look at like a hundred beats. I ain't about to get a chance to go through all of them yet, but I told him I'm definitely, um, you know, I appreciate that, and, and I'm gonna definitely try to at least record one or two of for sure, you know, make sure he get a credit for him. Yeah. But um, he he from the UK, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to dude, yeah. and um, but I I'm always um up for uh, like when I was live. Um, a little while ago, um, a couple of Scully beats, you know, he working on something from, um, so, you know, it's, it's always that people be wanting me to get on their beats and do what I do or whatever, yeah. Nah, yeah, no doubt. I mean, we know we definitely go be looking forward to hearing some of that stuff and, um, you know, that you got that fire to put down. Like, I was just on YouTube, actually, not long ago, and I seen it was like a post somebody had did in relation to, um, he was a former No Limit artist, but I believe he started out with Tough Guy, um, Wayne Go or Wayne G. I mean, you guys yeah. featured on the same album, cp3.com and stuff as well, and a few other different projects and stuff, um, like... So I mean, you you know if about how we got with True from Tough Guys and stuff. Um, Wayne, um, Wayne was uh, he what started with Tough Guy, and I think around that time Wayne was really just getting into like the music thing. Cause Wayne was like straight street, like street dude, yeah, and um, he was like he was like like a, like muscle. In the, in the Cali, like you know, when, when um, two dogs and 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 and, and, and them, you know, any the problems they had, like and eyes and them, like he he was like he was the one that he that go that's coming, you know. But he also I noticed he had a love for that music thing too, you know? and he was like, but when him and C connected, it was like like. We got around C. He was like, that's where he wanted to be. You know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah, he, uh, Wayne used to write, let me, you know, let me hear shit and everything when we were in the studio and everything. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, he was, um, he was definitely, uh, gonna do something. Uh, he, 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 I mean, he, I, he, I think he was first mentioned on, sorry to cut you, but I think, I remember. P first mentioned in the man, maybe Sabre on the um, Only God Can Judge Me album, I believe. Uh, said that, uh, you yeah, know, I'm the realest think, motherfucker, you know, and I got a couple homies, Wayne Go and Dodo. Yeah, and he, um, he, he, he then used that, remixed it for Mr. Marcelo's album, I believe, and did it, you know. Yeah, he did. Uh, and he had mentioned him on that, uh, that single P had, uh, C had on. Um, that, um, making moves with the P had mentioned his name on that. Say K K Wayne Go. Okay. Paul and Jimmy. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You see, I missed that. But yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, those are the names you always had about. You know, Farley and Go and all that. So you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Farley. That's yeah. my. That's our cousin. Farley. He, uh. Farley. That's on. Um, he's from out the Cali too. That's on. Um, he can appear on P mama side. You know, you know I'm can appear on his daddy's side. But you know, we still nope. like we still like family. Though. Still family. Yeah. 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 We like that going. Right. Yeah, family, family, man. So yeah, no, that's um uh, that's though. I mean I wanna do something maybe on, you know, Wango and Dodo, just tough guys and that kind of element because we See. spoke to True M eleven before. He spoke a bit about tough guys, but I mean, a lot of the fans have asked, like, you know, how did they sort of get involved with No Limit and uh, why they didn't hear no more from the label under No Limit as well after the right. Brick Living album. Right. Look, you know what? I got a story, man. I got some. I remember one time 
tip, I don't know how I just end up hanging with all these different killers, bro. Yeah, <laughs> some type of way, bro. I, I just, I just end up, you know. But I know we were riding one time. Um, we was coming from Baton Rouge. Me and Wayne was together. Um, he was telling me, um, man, I asked him like how he had, cause he had a, a like a cut, right there, like a shot, a bullet wound right there. On I'm like, man, what? I'm like, you got shot right there? He was like, yeah. He was running the story to me how he went in the 17. He went in, you know, in a certain area part of town, and um, and um, he went to go, you know, do what he do, handle the business. And um, he he was on a motorbike. Say so pulled up on a motorbike by the store, and he he went in the store. He seen where well, was he as he was coming on the motorbike. He seen he was looking for a go in the store. And he said he he pulled up on the bike. He said uh, when he got off the bike, dude, that was in the store. When he came out the store, he had like, you know, a uh, kind of business. And um, in the process of that, he went, got on the bike, and rode the bike back in the Cali. But he shot, he shot himself. Well, no, no, let me bring it back. When he, the dude shot him too. You know what I'm saying? And um, so, in, in the hand. He said when he got back on the bike, after you know, they, they really shot each other, but I think the other person died. You know what I'm saying? And he got back on the bike, shot back in the Cali, and he like he said he shot in the air to you know so to make it make it you know look like he got shot in the Cali. I was like, all right, I'm gonna ride, blah 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 blah. I see, I get it. You know what I'm saying? And, but I guess he just like, you know, just ran it to me. Like, you know, because I asked him, you know what I'm saying? But Wayne, yeah, he was, uh, he was definitely, uh, like on that, on that level with like, gangsta, you know. Well, and this was way after gangsta had went to jail. Cause I definitely, I wasn't hanging with gangsta and hanging with Joe at the same time. I was probably, I feel, you know what I'm saying? Just, just from assumptions, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Uh, yeah, we know how that go. I mean, that was a different time, maybe. Um, yeah. I remember hearing more about his name in like 2000s around that period. Um, and then Wayne was always in know. and out of jail. Like, Wayne was always in and out of jail. Because I don't even yeah, I just I remember man. my on that dope. Cali yo niggas taking it all. Yeah, yeah, he had, yeah, a, he had, a, he had yeah. a little flow to him, you know. Uh, I was kinda of waiting to hear more from him, you know. You can, and you can tell he had his own when you're street too. When you even when you're street dude yourself, you can tell a street dude when you hear him, you know. I say yeah, they, you know. Right. But right. You can kinda of, you can kinda of tell he boom boom, yeah. Right. Yeah. Just from the type of stuff they rap about and how they um, you know, so it, you know, it's time that he, he and, definitely bought him. And, and then I wind up, I wind up doing time with uh, with his little brother, one of his one of his brother, JB. You know what I'm saying, man, him did time. At, well, he was in Hunts when when me and Mac was in Hunts together. And, and JB, he got like one eye, like one eye glass. Eye. Welcome. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and no, I definitely, man. Um. But you know, another soldier, rest in peace to him, man. Um, but shit, rest in peace, him and Dodo, actually. Yeah. Man. You know, I remember even like hearing about Dodo passing out here. It was um when it was reported, and you know, it was kind of a shame for tough guys because I thought that label had a lot of potential at that time. You know, at the back of the Marcelo project, uh, they had yeah. a little roster of artists underneath from you know. See, you know, you know what. Um, you know it's crazy that kind of the situation with with Dodo and P, uh, it kind of had did 
it kind of had messed up Dodo and C relationship, like, on a cool, you know what I'm saying? Because I remember one one time, um, me, C, and I think Skanu was in a... Yeah, rest in peace. I know you was going to say yeah. Skanu. <laughs> yeah, and Skanu. Man, let me tell you, C, we, me and Skanu, we, we, we was moving around. Everywhere you seen C, you seen us, for sure. I'm saying all on the even the you know the uh some of the like the uh the documentary when C was in a magnolia, you see me, me and Malachi with the true red, you know, tired looking like with the pants and you don't see yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? So we we was we was be everywhere, see uh, everywhere. But um I remember a time when it was kinda like tension between um C and, and like Dodo like because when they Dodo pulled up on the side of us, it was like a, you know, everything. Their conversation was like dry, like not like it usually be before the situation, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That was, yeah. That was I mean, how did, I mean, how did that, um, if you, if you recall or you have any knowledge of it, that sort of, you say that separation between kind of tough guys and, um, uh, no limits sort of come about. All right. Um, you know, tough guys uh, was Victor and Dodo had a label together, which was Do- uh, Victor was the one that had like got the money, but uh, like he lost his leg or something like that, so he had got like lost some money, and he invested. And by the time when he got the money, I think Dodo had just came home and doing the lawn too. So, you know, they connected or whatever, and um, they had wound up hooking up with Pete, you know, to start the tough guy thing. And Marcelo, shout out to Mr. Marcelo, too, had, uh, he was the artist, you know what I'm saying? And um, they had connected with Pete on um, doing something, you know, so Pete was, was going to help him out by uh, helping them put Marcelo album out through tough guy to get tough guy established. As a label, an up and running label, which it was, uh, they were supposed to have been and had a deal with priority records. But the deal was through P. So, but I think um, uh, Dodo was under the impression that the distribution deal was straight through priority, like with, with no limit, just stamped on it. So um after um Marcelo had dropped the album, the album was doing good too. I think he went gold. Um Dodo was waiting on a check from Carl. But the check when you know it ain't had come, it was you know taking long. And, and he, he you know he was hitting P up about it, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, we know what's up, Just, you know, cause he, I guess he felt like P was more connected with priority than he was. Yeah. And after a couple of times, he had hit P up about um, the money, the check. You know, P was like, man, you know, that he still ain't, you know, heard nothing yet or nothing like that. So I guess um, Dodo was like, man, fuck all that, I'm going up to Parada myself. And he flew out there. He flew to Parada, went over there. And Dodo went straight uptown in there. Dodo was up in there, was like, man, I, won't, I ain't leaving till I get my money today. Okay. <laughs> type of shit. You know what I'm saying? And it just so happened, um, Vibes happened to be out there at the time. Because I think, you know, the people from Priority called P, like, you know, man, look, you, you know, he's here, Dodo in here, you know, he's flashing out, clicking out, talking about the money. But the whole while, they told Dodo that they had been already paid gave P the money he was looking for. And no. that's how and that's how him and P fell out. And that's how him and Bias fell out too. Cause when Bias went there they wanted to get into it or whatever. You know. Bias was trying to get, you know, talk to him, calm you know, calm him out, calm him now and tell him but you know at that point once them people told him that he ain't gonna hear nothing from Bias up people. You know what I'm saying? 
And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and, and, and you know that that had kind of messed up him. And see, when he pulled up on us, it was just the scene just looked it strange. Like it was like, like you know, it was dry. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like the love, the love was a little different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's 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 on God and his truth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a shame. I mean, you know, I think um, different type of business. Um, I think I believe what you refer to is like a logo deal. Sometimes where they put, they might put the logo on, but it depends on how um, who has yeah, that. Just to, right, just to have that stamp. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Stamp on it. But that's he was under the impression that that's. But the whole while, his deal was was with no limit with Pete. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, like, well, like, some, like some third party shit, like you know, like you going through no limit, no limit going through for artists to distribute. Yeah, he said that. I'm thinking Marcelo's album was um, Streets Got Love for Me, and I believe that that came out on it. Was it Tough Guys and um. A different distributor. I don't believe it was priority that distributed right. on that. Uh-uh. So I think by by that album they had they you know they own tough guys publishing and a few things like that. So yeah. um, and you that's, know, maybe that's, that's how first. they wind up. That's how they wind up. Um, you know, just cutting ties with Pete. Malcolm. Yeah. Yeah, I did hear Marcelo do an interview and say that he was trying to get a feature from. Um, Master P on it for his second album for the um, Third World G's track that he did with Birdman and also Dodo because Dodo featured on that too. Yeah, I don't think I don't think P did it. Yeah, no, nah, it, it didn't happen. But you know, it was a solid track. I think Birdman did his thing on that. I actually think it's one of Birdman's um, hardest kind of verses in a sense. He really went hard on some uptown ish like he, he was representing. Yeah. And Marcelo, but, um, Marcelo, Marcelo still be, and he still be spinning, he still go up. Yeah, yeah. I'll be checking out his freestyle and shit. That's like, man, you see Marcelo, I've been knowing Marcelo from um, the Magnolia Project because he stayed downstairs from on the first floor. My grandmother stayed like right on top and I'm on the second floor. And then him and my cousin, um, Luke, God bless the dead, that, that had passed. They was like, jam, they was running together. So I always, I've been around Marcelo since a kid. Like, so that's why he always tell you know, people be saying when these people see him and they mention me, like, man, that's my that's friend. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, no, Marcelo, man, definitely. So uh, I mean, bringing it back slightly, I guess with no limit, we had some fans ask if you had any um. More no limit stories. They say we definitely appreciate the um stories you've been dropping. If you got any untold no limit stories that they could um make Man, a hit. I have a I have a story, bro, that happened. Bro. What uh this one involves um Soldier Slim, um Servon, and Hound from Good Time. And now you know Slim and Hound. His cousins, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, uh, you know how Slim, Slim is, you know, Slim be joking, cracking jokes, you know, trying to put that, that drive wheel in his back, you know what I'm saying? But he was, you know, fucking with serve on, like, fucking with him about he can't rap, shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so he, he took kind of offense to that, you know what I'm saying? Him and Slim wind up um, getting into a little scuffle, you know what I'm saying? And um. Was the- was that in the boxing room? No, this was out the blue. This was at the hotel. Yeah, they got to at the hotel to fight. And um, see them, him and some, you know, they were doing their thing for, you know, going, going in it. And um, how, you know, just out of um, reflex, you know, his reflex. Like, that's just like if I see Melaka fight. He, you know, Melaka would be winning the fight. But yeah. that's my blood cousin. I'm 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 bound to jump in, you know, really. Whether he went in or you know, and that's how 
home, dear. No home. Wind up getting in the home, got some dogs too. And Servon was kind of big. Servon was trying to use that weight on Slim. I'm sorry. Slim was long on me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was home, home street. Home got street dog. This is a howl. <laughs> howl got all that. Ass. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And, um, and you know, after that, you know, it was, you know, rap. That was it. That was it. You know, I don't pee with him other around when that happened. You know what I'm saying? Because if, if he would have been around, it wouldn't have never went that far. No. And even like, like, I can remember a time when we used to shoot dice in the studio. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and God bless the dead, high boy Jimmy. You know what I'm saying? He, he like, he used to try, he used to try to like depot you on the dice, try to make you bet, you know, like, man, bet, bet, you, man, you know, you, you know, you know what I'm saying, talk it all, Chris, and me and him winds up, we was about to get into it with my dick, shooting dice. I'm like, man, I'm like, what? man, check this out, man, I'm like, man, you can't tell, man, listen, you, I bet what I want, I'm talking about, because I felt like he was trying to depot me on the dice, and, and, and he struck a nerve on me. But P had like got between us like, man, y'all chill out, man, y'all, y'all family, y'all chill, you know what I'm saying? But you see, that nigga was a slick stone dice. He tried to talk you out, you know, try to make you make you crap out. You know what I'm saying? Distract you and shit, man. Mm. Playing them all gambling shit. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Yep. And um I could recall another time. This one here is with C. Man, C clicked out on on Kino, man. You know, you you know Kino. Yeah, I was gonna say so. I don't know what ever happened to Kino because you know a lot of people do ask what happened to him. We do hear there was something that happened back in the day, but man, let me tell you, man, that nigga is phony as for real. Cause I was locked up. I was locked up. Um, I was in Hunts. Was I in Hunts? I was locked up somewhere, but I had got a hold of a magazine. I seen, I'm looking at him, I'm like, oh, look at Kenny, oh, he's doing his thing. I see this, some attractive Kanye West, nigga, but now, so I'm reading the article. They asked him, um, you know how he got with no limit. Man, this nigga told a whole lie. Man, he got with no limit through me and Melica. That dude no, was just saying. break that down. Yeah, he used to sit outside our studio in a van, an old beat up van, with trying to let a nigga hear beats. And by him being around me and Malachi age around that time, we just so happened to, you know, to really st- be the ones to stop and really hold a conversation with him and talk to him. Because we want, you know, we trying to find our way around Baton Rouge anyway. We need somebody to show us, you know what I'm saying, where everything at. And we started hanging. We started going to parties and shit. You know what I'm saying? Then we wind up, he wind up connecting with, that's how he wind up connecting with C. You know what I'm saying? Through us. Man, this, man, I couldn't believe this, man. I couldn't wait to get, to do an interview. And man, it's like, man, for real. That's just, man, niggas just don't know how to keep it real nowadays, bro. And he from, I didn't know where you said he was from BR. Yeah, he from BR. Okay. Man, hey, so watch what when happened? C when C yeah, get on, watch when C C when they ask C how did that dude give one of them watch what C said. So like, what happened when uh, you said he had, C at two? We was at a, man, we was at a concert, man. We was at a, uh we were doing a show, uh we was out of town somewhere. We was in Cali, I think. Man, that nigga messed up. Had the wrong song had came on, cause he was the DJ. When, when C was about to when C was about to rap, mm. man, that nigga C flashed. That nigga C went walked back there and slapped the fuck out of that boy. Mm. I ain't see him no. I ain't see him no more after that. I, don't, I ain't see him at the hotel. I don't know where he. I guess he was like just too ashamed to just for anybody to see him or anything. Oh, that yeah. shit was loud. That shit was, I'm talking about people in the crowd heard that slap. Mm, happy slap, you call that. What? 
man, that nigga, man, that nigga fuck. And then I think he ain't, he ain't my DJ no more. I think somebody else had just had and went up there to finish. The set, yeah, you gotta be, um, you gotta be on point. That's actually funny. It reminds me of a story. Yeah. I did, I, I did not, I didn't actually have to put hands on it, but I, I did a concert, um, a few years ago. I was warming up for Onyx in yeah. the UK. And I bought this DJ along, you know, I'm going to put him on blast called Mr. DJ Smooth, Mr. Smooth. And he was supposed to be up there for the sound check and all that. This fool come, he turned up late where we ain't doing the sound check. About five, ten minutes before we're about to go on. And he talking about, oh, yeah, 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 I got it, man. I got everything. I'm showing him the set list. He said he got everything. He's he's yapping about his friend, if he can get his friends in and all this shit. By the time he get up on stage, you know, I think the first record he played, and I used to have this little sequence, like, this is the opener, this is the... The, the mm-hmm. first song he played was the wrong song. But the crazy thing is, I used to wear this mask on the stage. Yeah. So I come out on the mask, so you can't really much tell, but I, could I still got the mask on, but as soon as he played the wrong song, I'm on there, like, cussing this motherfucker out. But And he just froze. He didn't know what to do. He's like, when I started cussing him out, he just like he literally just froze like he didn't know what to do and all that shit. So it was like I didn't even I didn't put no hands on it, but after the show, as soon as we got off the stage, that nigga bailed. <laughs> he didn't even stick around. He didn't go. <laughs> he didn't stay. That nigga C man, that nigga C stopped, man. That nigga the one was on came home. That nigga C he ain't played all for nothing. That nigga went walk yeah. came back <laughs> and back the fuck out that boy. Mm. I swear on my children. That shit was loud. That shit was pow. Yeah. Woo. Everybody was talking about that shit, boy. All on the plane. That nigga disappeared out there. That was the last time I seen him. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Because he, dis- he, he disappeared. Bit. He wasn't rapping no more. Nothing after that. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, I, I I respect, you know, him lying and saying, ah, oh, he got no limit and all that shit. But it's cool. You know what I'm saying? But, the, the 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 people that was around know how you really got hooked up with C. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Put you down bad for that. Deadly Deadly Sounds music. He would have yeah. been the first. Song. Yeah. Man, it was man. You we, nigga had a man. That man beast was dry. Like C C. You know was was working with him. Like you know C felt like you know he 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 could do something. You know what I'm saying? So and he probably ain't much keeping it real with C. He probably ain't hollering at C, you know what I'm saying? Cause that's yeah. how that's the type of that's the type of, you know, like type of spirit he got in him. Like, you know, it's just all you gotta do is just see his track record, like all oh, you know what I'm saying? If you could if you lying about something like that, you could have easily just said, Oh yeah, Resonelli and Melica, that's how, you know, I got with C. Cause yeah. nobody, nobody else wouldn't have probably stopped to even, even uh, hold Give a that time of day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm with. I mean, another person people ask about um a lot. I believe he may have did some of the original logo work was um somebody called Colonel. Colonel, yeah, Kernese. Yeah, he used to uh he used to be making like all the true shirts and stuff like clothing. Stuff tell his, uh, I don't know if he's still doing the clothing thing. I think he like kind of doing like, I think when I talked to him, he said he was managing Money Man or somebody like artists and shit. Like okay, that. yeah, yeah, but he had he had reached out to me on some, you know, on some, uh, like I could get you, I could get you this. Amount of views on YouTube and you know, like what your what your budget looking like? You know what I'm saying? So it was like yeah. money type shit. You know what I'm saying? But you know, we I had like advertising and stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I had mess. You know, I did a uh, little advertising with him one time, but he cool. You know, he's straight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, C had uh Yeah, those are the names that I think of when I think of like some of the early um the early kind of true records. Mm-hmm. And I think him and um I think he still be doing some stuff for Monica and shit too. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still, I think they they posted something with Monica the other day. Um, allegedly, they said she was on a date with Kodak Black. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Nah, I don't think she was. <laughs> so that's what they said in the media. Oh, in the media? Yeah. <laughs> nah, see, I don't think that would be like me knowing her. That's that don't even much like that's like too awkward. Like, nah, that was that was. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that was about business. Yeah. 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 You know, yeah that's they... like that's like a a, a little. You no, know, that's like a little dude to compare to. Her, you know what I'm saying? Not saying like he a little boy, like he can't handle, it, but it's just like uh, it's a whole. No, that'll be like going backwards in her 16, 17, uh, 21 year old time, like zone. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I, I can't see that. Yeah. You know, they, I don't know, it was um, reported. A few people were saying, um, you know, they don't know this, the circumstance because I think it was last reported she was with C, so, you know. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's, 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 I know it for sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you know, she gonna, man, she gonna always, even if she do uh, be involved with somebody, she gonna always have um, a relationship. See, cause she, she done been there for her um, a lot of times. Uh, when she really, you know, needed the most, like, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. Her, her whole family, like her mama and shit, her brother and them crazy about C. My, Montez, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Montez, yeah, I remember her mom. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He came, he was around around the time with M11 and those guys. And, um... Yeah, well, see, when Montez used to come to Bangalore, I used to be... <laughs> he used to be with me, right? I used to ride all around, to my table, you know, uh, everywhere with me, you know what I'm saying? He used to always be with me because we were around the same age, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And then um, Cup Boy, and um, obviously Cup Boy a lot older, but I got, I respect a lot of what Cup Boy done, done holding things down, man. Yeah, man, come on. Yeah. He, um, matter of fact. He, he from the 17, 17, uh, St. Bernard, he from? Yeah, he from the St. Bernard. He, um, he came to my, uh, my birthday party I had in Atlanta, um, I think that was like, uh, two years ago, a year ago. I had a little, I had a birthday party in Atlanta, man. He came through and, you know, I had a kick with him. I fuck with him. Yeah, yeah. He real, he real, man. He real. Dude. Yeah, he a real cat, man. Uh, yeah, definitely yeah. no. Yeah, he he and he 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 he, he bleed that truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's mm -hmm. a fact, man. I mean, you know, maybe we'll get to see another true um, I don't say group album or compilation at some point, but obviously we know main priority at the minute is um uh, yeah. getting C back home. You know. Yeah, man. He uh, man, everything. Everything looking good, but he's gonna he gonna be out. You know what I'm saying? It's just I feel like um it, it, you know everything happened for a reason. You know what I'm saying? And yep. it, it, it was a reason all us like everybody that was you know connected to C was like you know going to jail and shit. You know, first it started with Mac. You know what I'm saying? Then Malachi, then me. You know what I'm saying? Then see what? Well, then see? Then me? You know what I'm saying? God was, I guess, was trying to, you know, slow us down. Uh, uh, you know. Yeah, to me, we really used to think he was untouchable. Yeah, you know that's you know, sadly sometimes often when it happens, um, they say when you know we get big and then you know everything has its seasons. You know, um, it has its rising and it's falling as well so uh, sometimes it can be hard to see that during the time so especially when you're on the upswing 
And then when right. the demo swing come down. Right. That's why I was I was kind of messed up. I was so, you know, so heated when um I bought Turk um you know call itself like um plan with me, you know what I'm saying? But like that's why you know you can't really help everybody, you know what I'm saying? Because I really didn't have no reason uh to 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 hook him and C up to where you know C was gonna do a song with him. You know, see mm-hmm. he don't never he don't never tell you know say that. You know what I'm saying? That how we how we how we ended up together. You know what I'm saying? Cause I was coming to pick you up to come to Baton Rouge to come do a featuring song with C for that CP3.com L. No come. You know what I'm saying? But we never made it because he had to stop. Jordan Fiend, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, that'd be- so the whole thing was like, you was the reason. If, if we wouldn't, if you wouldn't have never had to stop around it, we would have been sh- straight back on the interstate. And I wouldn't have never got caught up like that. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, you know, everybody ain't, ain't real. Like, you know what I'm saying? And, and your lies catch up with you. And that's what happened with him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, yeah. To, you know, obviously, you know that's um, you know, widely reported. I don't say issue or back and forth with you guys. I think last I seen, you both did a live with Gangster. Yeah, he um, where I was on Gangster had hit me up. Was like wanted me to come on a, a Queen Francis live with him. You know what I'm saying? So I jumped on that. He brought me up, and then you know, Turk wound up coming on there. Now all this time we done had shit, I done had shit all on Club our Trick Daddy. Uh tried to get him in his room who he was in there at the time. He, he on he on he ain't wanna come. You know what I'm saying? He, he ain't yeah. wanna def- he ain't wanna defend his man. You know what I'm saying? But I guess he felt the need I was just saying gangster. Um man, gangster was on there, he felt the need to come on there. Like but you know gangster was my that's like my brother. Like when when you was getting when you were around there in a project, running around a project, getting loaded, trying begging for money and all this, it, I was hustling. Gangsta, I was selling dope. You was buying dope from gangsta. I was hustling. You know what I'm saying? So all this gangster shit that he like he did some some uh a hell of a shit. I was the only thing you ever did was get loaded. You ain't never was in no gangster shit until the shit happened in Tennessee. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you know. But you know they you know this shit like like nigga used to say um when I was locked up. You know, jail is like the army, be all you can be. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Now that shit just hit the streets. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know in prison, niggas niggas say they was I done heard niggas say they was everything but an astronaut. They was balling on the streets, but can't make a two hundred dollar bond. Uh, like, see, you can't tell me no anything. Like, it gotta, cause it gotta make sense. You can't tell me you had bricks on the street and you can't make a thousand dollar bond. That only, that's just, uh, it don't, that don't add up. Well, I'm saying, yeah, prison man, not definitely um a place to evade. Everybody got a story, you know. Yeah. And a lot of times, as you said, they don't add up. <laughs> yeah, they don't add up. It got to make sense to me. Like, yeah, it makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Yeah, no doubt. Well, um, yeah, man, we're going to um, probably wind down on this one. Maybe, um, you know, we don't really want to get into, um, I too guess, much. too much. The, 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 yeah, and especially with the tech stuff and all that, that you know, we know you to put that to rest for now, anyway. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, I wanted, I just managed it because I had was in the mood, you know, with running about that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, like, yeah. Be, like, I don't just be on uh, understand, like, so, like, for what reason? Knowing, like, like if if it was the other way around, if Turk would have, if he would have had, uh, was trying to help me. You know, uh, better my, you know, my, man, I would never do him, do him, repay no nigga like that, man. I would never, like, 
especially if I, it was my fault. Yeah. Well, it's just crazy how things come full circle because obviously, you know, you guys had that Wild Boys this and then, you know, at that time, it probably weren't really much about nothing in it. So it's, it's just kind of crazy <laughs> how yeah. things come full circle. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he got mad about that. We just finally found out about that. I don't know. Maybe it was something. Uh, uh, yeah, they they must they must have known. Um, I remember I hearing the track from Steady Mobbing. I don't know if you yeah. ever heard the track they did that was kind of like addressing the um the no limit situation with P and stuff. Um, I ain't never heard. It. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna have to go look it up, man. Yeah, it's called um Sounds Like a Buster and it's featured on um the Steady Marvin Crime Buddies album. And it's actually oh, sort of like a remake of um or a retake of you know the track P did on the five oh four boys album. If you real keep it real, if you fake then you fake phone it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a retake of that. So it's pretty much damn near the same beat because I can't remember who the original is. It's like a sample or whatever anyway. So it's like they got yeah. the same sort of version. And some people say Keisha Cole's actually the girl they got singing on it on, the, on their version, you know. So wow. it's interesting. But I only mention it because Bavgate, he got a lyric on that about he mentioned the Wild Boys. He said, you know, he mentioned some of the, like, the stuff that happened with them. Oh, all right. Yeah, man. A lot of people was used to, used to be asking me about... Um, about that uh dear the um what is that uh short circuit did he slap did you ever hear something about it? I mean slap? yeah the short circuit he said that yeah I don't know did he I mean did anybody have, you ever hear anything about that yeah. I ain't never I ain't never heard that bro that's that's on the up and up I ain't never heard man because you know like uh you know, you know, baby was, baby moved like how P was moving with P, you know. You know, you had to be a crash dummy to try to slap that man <laughs> without getting your ass tore. So, you know, I, I, the only thing that, that I knew of was at the Source Awards when, you know, P had went. Check, cause you know, around this time, this round of time when, P and Baby was like, you know, slick side taking shots at each other. Like, um, um, P is like four or five homeless convertible jacks. Yeah, side. yeah. SS ain't on 20, but I ain't no uptown. I'm stunner. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, P said, uh, then I mean, even on you guys' album, we had, I'm not a stutter, I'm a bum. Oh, yes. That's <laughs> what he, all this was tension around that time. Yeah. This was, but P had, you know, it was really like, you know, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, really, they wasn't that, you know what I'm saying? So that all that shit be a front man, with what them now, man, when they be with all that. So, so I mean, the cash money, all this, man. Bring, so they, bring it back quickly to the sort. What happened at the source war? Man, Pierre yeah, went up, went up, checked David, man. Like, you know, like, man, what, you know what I'm saying? Because all, all, you know, they, I mean, it's obvious that they know they was taking shots at each other, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, Pierre. Yeah, saw the opportunity to go and and, and, and they was like I don't know what they was because you know they was like they were the only two that was close even though uh, I think baby had some like Muslim um bodyguards with him like the Muslim dudes and P had you know his people with him but P rent walked up on him like you know and it was whatever they was P asked him or whatever you know I don't yeah, I can't yeah. tell you what you know what they were saying, but I seen P walk up on him, like, you know, <clears throat> but it wasn't no tussling, none it was just P asked him what he asked him and Baby said what he said, well ooh, ooh, that was a rap. I think if I'm not way. mistaken, I think P asked him like like, um, do we got a problem with him or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But I think Baby was like yeah, that's problem. Mm-hmm. And that was a wrap. Yeah, I remember that. If that's the one with P shouted him out or shouted cash money out on the on yeah, stage. Yeah, yeah, that was when, when, when Slim was 
Who was alive? Yeah, Big Yeah, no. Yeah, right. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Slim was a dog, bro. Yeah. Slim was reptile in the back, you know. They ain't nobody, you know, holding his tank high. Boom, well, Slim, you know what I mean? Slim, yeah. Slim well. felt like he was at the ground. Or <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's some classic uh, footage right there, you know what I mean? Uh, well, definitely classic. So we know I'ma that's save, historic. I'm going to say the next story. I'm going to be on a slimmer story. I got a slim just shooting dice and they walk by half house. I'm going to say I'm gonna save that for the next one. Okay. That's what's up. I'm sure, you know, people going to be on um, waiting and tapping back in. So, exactly. you know, we definitely appreciate you lacing us with some stories and some game. Um, you know, the fans, let us know any questions in the comments as well for any pre upcoming um, segments and stuff where we can see if we can get them in the mix. Yeah, come on. Tell them, come on with it, man. So I could, I could make sure, you know what I'm saying? Because I got a lot of them. I got a lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no doubt, man. No. Well, that's it. You was there, you know, so. Yeah. You know, yeah, you was there, so you're going to have them. So they ask for it, I'm, 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 I'm going to give it to them. Yep. Well, we appreciate CM, that, man. CMC bought that online, man. Y'all know what it is. Yeah, I'm being on time yep. for life. Free luck got it. Free C murder. Free be stupid. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I thought you was going to do the arc. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> <Huh? laughs> I would have the button to ride that off. Yeah, <laughs> but, yeah. <baby>. Uh, <laughs> You know. <laughs> Hold up, let me uh Peace family, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and check us out on boutonline.com. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook for exclusive playlists and social media for all different types of segments and content.